Hello there. So uh, this week I've been uh, kind of busy, but today I want to do several videos to basically recap on what is going on in, in East Africa and the African continent. So we start off with the situation in the Eastern Congo. You remember last week I made a video where I updated you that the East African regional force had fully deployed more than 4,000 troops to the Eastern Congo, which that what that means is that them 23 are now being pushed back to where they were before they started attacking. But something else is happening in Congo is that the Congolese people, the villagers, especially people who are affected by this conflict, feel that the East African community regional force are not doing what the people in Congo are expecting. They are not attacking and countering them 23. Even though today they have been calm and peace in that region and more than 50,000 villagers have returned back to their farms, returned back to their villages from uh, internally displaced persons camps. So the peace has done that. But now we have this uh, small uh, militia group from different villages calling themselves the Congolese patriots. And they are picking up guns and attacking them to and three because they feel that their government or the government in Congo has abandoned them. So yesterday on Wednesday, we had this uh, attack from uh, the fighters calling themselves the Congolese Patriots. They attacked the M23 positions and the M23 fought back. They repassed, according to this article here, the M23 repassed the attack. And let alone the Congolese army, FRDC, came to those villages and arrested those men. They arrested their assailant, and I don't know where they took them. Because also the Congolese army wants to maintain this ceasefire according to the, the Luanda Accord. You remember this part of the Luanda uh, summit? And what is happening is that uh, the night after the, this attack happened during the day, now last night, there was another attack. And this one happened in Kibumba, in the regions of Kibumba. And because Kibumba and Rumangabo, we don't have the Congolese army of the FRDC, that is the region that is held by the Kenyans and the South Sudanese. When uh, these militias in Kibumba tried to attack uh, the M23 positions, they were stopped by the East African Community Regional Force, that is the Kenyans. So the Kenyans went to where these people were firing from and they kind of stopped them. And this is uh, in line with what the Kenyans and the East African Community Regional Force are saying. They are there to protect the citizens too because they don't want a scenario where the fighting resumes and these people who just returned from the camps have to go back to the camps because they just recently returned to their farms. They returned to their villages. As you can see here today in the morning, this this is the image that was taken today in the morning. And I'm going to tell you uh, the people in this image, basically. Um, on the right, this uh, this tall guy is the Kenyan soldier. He's the spokesperson for the Kenyan uh, contingent or battalion of the East African Community Regional Force. Uh, next to him is a Congolese army, kind of part of the East African Community Regional Force, who is also like a, an interpreter or a translator for him. And in front of them, you can see villagers from Kibumba. So basically, they're having a discussion. And they are talking about uh, peace because they want these people here, as you can see, to stop trying to fight them to three. Of course, I understand the same people are telling them, we thought you are coming here to help us by fighting them to three. We don't want this peace thing you are doing because the moment you leave these positions, them to three are going to come back and start, you know, killing us. And you remember last year, M23 descended in the villages around this region in Kibumba, uh, the village of Kishishe, and massacred more than 300 men, children, and women. Majority of them were men, more than 200 men. And I remember from one of the victims, 
Yeah, he was saying that the M23 was saying every male in that village is going to die. So they would shoot at any male and they went ahead to rape the women. So that happened. The peace that the East African Community Regional Force are talking about, they are not discussing what will happen to this victim. They are not discussing the punishment that will be meted on the commanders of the M23 because they killed 300 Congolese people. That can't be led to just go unanswered. You, you can't ignore that. There were people who are living in their own village and 300 of them were killed. And those who did that, they have to be arrested before any negotiation. They have to be arrested. Because you can't have a rebel group just coming up from nowhere, backed by a neighboring country, coming to your country to kill people, and then you start talking of peace, ceasefire, and negotiations. You have to also address what will happen to those victims because a human life has, um, has value. So th th those are some of the sentiments that are making Congolese people to pick up guns and form smaller militias, calling themselves the Congolese patriots, and start fighting because they feel betrayed. They feel that uh, this is their group. They feel betrayed. They feel that their government has abandoned them. And they feel that the international community doesn't care about them. And, and that's what most Congolese people from that region feel. Because they were attacked, they were killed, but no one is talking about it. Everyone is just talking about peace. And remember, some of these countries, the, the soldiers from these countries, like Kenya and Uganda, they are there to maintain peace so that their countries can continue you know, doing business in Congo. For the Kenyans, they want their manufacturing companies to send goods to Goma. That's why they are there. For the Ugandans, they want their country to send agricultural goods to Goma, you know, farm produce. That's why they don't care about justice. They don't care about whether the M23 should be punished. They don't even want to fight the M23. As a matter of fact, they just want the M23 to continue existing there as long as it doesn't disrupt the flow of goods and commerce. Anyway, go to the comment section below and tell me, would you do the same thing if you're in the same position as these Congolese people who are forming uh, militia groups to basically fight them to injury? Because it looks like the East African community regional force are not going to do it.